So I think we'll get started and I just want to say a huge big welcome to Rotomold Online. I know that you have been watching the presentations yesterday and uh, the viewership is massive. We've got 215 registrants registered people today, um, which is fantastic. And this is our first live webinar. I'd like to welcome Leigh, who most of you will know from Matrix Polymers, who are a very huge supporter of Armors and of our conferences as well. And I'll leave it to you, Leigh. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. So um, without further ado, I'll just uh, kick off from my end. and. Uh, one, two, three, go. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. As you can see from my virtual background on my right-hand side, that's uh, my colleague Nina. Well, this photo was taken in AMA conference in 2015, uh, Nottingham. So we presented a rotomotable table. Unfortunately, it is not antimicrobial. I will explain what is unfortunate about uh, in today's presentation, I will give a quick introduction of the antimicrobial material. So at the end of the day, we consider, you know, opportunities in the post-pandemic world. The supply and the demand, we surely have some demand of this antimicrobial material. Could we supply it? I think the answer is yes, we can. And uh, a bit quick. Uh, introduction of uh, what does antimicrobial do and uh, what's the testing say and uh, what regulations are we following so what are the applications and uh, last but not least what is the cost okay opportunities uh, we understand you know in the current pandemic world we have uh, quite a few different demand hence the supply comes on and uh, in the post-pandemic world, we love to help you, road motors, you know, to promoting your product, to add value. Obviously, as we have noticed, you know, we have uh, extra demand of the masks, you know, ventilator, hand sanitizer. So as a matter of fact, I barely used the masks and the hand sanitizer before the pandemic. Now I'm using it every day or at least the hand sanitizer every hour. And of course, not everything is really scientific behind. So for example, the toilet roll. So I still couldn't understand why the demand is increasing. But anyhow, we understand, for example, in rotational molding world, what about we have a table, like uh, my conic Nina stands here, you know, that was uh, presented in 2015 AMA in Nottingham. So if that table could be antimicrobial, we would be able to use it again in 2018. As some of you may remember, we only showed that table once in 2015. At 2018 in Germany, we couldn't show it. Simple reason, it has a foggy grow on it. So we couldn't remove it. So the table was somehow cosmetically damaged. We come to that point later and uh, for another quick example, you know, we know the fish box, you know, Australians like fishing. So what about the fish box, you know, the rotomotive the plastic container could, you know, keep this unfriendly odor away for much longer period. So you put fish in, you don't really need to clean it thoroughly. So that will protect the freshness of the container, of course, your food as well. Okay, without further ado, let's come to the nitty gritty of the scientific part. I understand every time when we talk about this uh, science bit, that can be boring. So in order to make it interesting, I insert quite a few photos and I will make it as simple as possible. So first, you know, antimicrobial, what does it do? Basically, it is agent to prevent the growth microbes. So of course, in the real world, we have uh, different types of microbes. Here, I will only touch base three of them. First, bacterials. You know, as we all know, the bacterial can grow fast everywhere, anywhere on the surface. For example, you know, maybe more Queenslanders rather than Victorians in New South Wales or so the rest of Australians, happy to bring a plastic water bottle with them to 
keep hydrated. If you forgot to clean the bottle, let's say overnight in the morning, you may smell something unfriendly. That's more or less because of the bacterial growth. They kind of produce a very offensive smell. So with the help of antimicrobial, it will prevent the growth of materials. And then let's move on to the second yellowish stuff on my presentation. Mold foggies, cheese, you know, you may see them anywhere, everywhere. You know, they are green, duckish, grow. They could have basically causing a stem and even damage the polymer. So unfortunately, you know, like I mentioned earlier, our lovely photo table in my virtual background, that one was become a bit uh, yellow, brownish. You know, we couldn't present it again. So for now, we're adding antimicrobial in it. You know, this particular application will last longer. And the last but not least on my presentation is algae. Well, I think most tank, tank makers are very familiar with them. Basically, that's the green, reddish things, like a plant, you know, they can grow where you have uh, sunshine and where you have water. Basically, scientifically, let's say algae is not a plant. It's just a creature, you know, between plant and a foggy. So uh, basically they can grow on the surface of plastics, like a water tanks, like a poly boat, or pretty much on the other surface, like a metal boat as well. So um, from our previous study, we understand antimicrobial agent could prevent the growth of it. Uh, last but not least, I want to quickly touch base on the virus. Although that's a much bigger subject we like to, uh, we can't really explain too much details, but just consider the antimicrobial agent could react like an alcohol free, no alcohol free, sorry, my apology, alcohol based sanitizer. So it's not only clean the surface, it also prevent the growth of some virus. Okay, let's carry on. So, of course, you know, we love to do some tests. You know, we have done some tests, you know, uh, back to UK a few years back. So uh, we have an antimicrobial grade called N272. It has been tested in a specific standard, ATCC6538. So what does it do is it's using a reference, like a normal polymer. And another one is uh, this antimicrobial version. So basically, we record the number of bacteria on the surface. As you can see on the y-axis here. So that's uh, one million. It's the top end. So as long as the creators, the uh, materials more than one million, so that's more like the maximum. Of course, in reality, this number will grow. And uh, at the time zero, so we have one million materials on each, you know, the normal polymer and antimicrobial polymer. So after 24 hours, this uh, material has down to 1,000. So it's more like a 1,000 times less in the first 24 hours. Of course, you know, in the next 24, 24 hours. So the number has gradually reduced. On the reference point, we believe this number just grew up. But in this test, you know, we just consider one, one million is a top. So what that means to rotor motors or to our customers are, for example, if you have an antimicrobial table or antimicrobial chair, you do not have to clean it every day. You know, you just self clean yourself. So probably you could do it every week, nice and easy. And uh, now for this type of application, you know, the coffee table, the bench, you know, the nice designed furniture, you know, we would uh, recommend our motors our, and our customers to use antimicrobial. So to prevent any growth to causing cosmetic issues, to causing, you know, unfriendly odor. So uh, that's a very good application for us to consider. Okay, in terms of regulations, you know, we understand, you know, currently our antimicrobial additive has a European food grade and also has the USA food grade. Also, it's a USA environmental product agent approved. Regarding our Australian drinking water, you know, ASNDS 4706, you know, it's currently not listed 
And uh, as a commercial justification, we could, and we will be able to add it in. So we just um, conduct a specific test. You know, uh, we are very confident our antimicrobial will tick the box. Okay, applications. Uh, we understand, you know, in our current uh, Australian New Zealand market, you know, we could use quite a few different things with the antimicrobial. Here, what you're looking at is a green tank. So uh, this size is roughly, you know, 15 liters. You know, it's a baby one. And uh, basically for this specific polymer, we could use uh, antimicrobial. And, uh, you know, it prevent a growth of algae or any bacterial inside. So uh, consider in the future, potentially, you know, we could have a tank, a water tank, semi-transparent. You know, the user could see the water level, you know, and uh, that material has antimicrobial. So it does not need to be 100%, you know, shadow to the sunshine. So that's uh, one thing for tank makers to consider. And the West Banks, um, in this photo, um, is taken in UK a few years back. So basically, unfortunately, those things are not antimicrobial. So they really stinks and are really not really a good you know, application. So um, potentially, you know, antimicrobial could be used for those uh, West Banks on the street or at your yard. And the hospital supplies, you know, when you're looking at it, it's... Um, a product made by a UK road motor. You know, this application is a hospital bedside cabinet. So it has antimicrobial additive in it. So it has been on the market for more than 10 years. It's a quite good product and a very good added value overall. Okay, let's moving on. So what we're looking at is a portable toilet in Amsterdam. So, you know, particularly during the weekend, you know, in the evening, you know, after parties, you know, drinks on the pub, you know, people tend to pee everywhere. So Amsterdam City Council started putting this, uh, you know, toilet unit around the city. They can use it. You know, as a matter of fact, I've seen similar stuff in Manchester, somewhere in UK, and myself. And uh, this particular material has a stone motor spa effect you know we are supplying the material for the rotor motor so we could do the same thing in australia so this product could have antimicrobial agent in it you know to prevent any unfriendly odor in the next day morning so a good application for us to consider and the playground equipment of course you know parents would love to have their kids playing a very safe and a clean environment. So consider if the playground rotomotive part has antimicrobial agent in it. It will clean itself, it will prevent any growth of materials and sun buyers. It's very good for the kids, also for the family. Last but not least, uh, with my colleague's permission, you know, I'm showing this uh, a very nice designed table and a chair outside nasty years ama conference venue so as you noticed you know the chair is a little bit dirt dark you know maybe yogi maybe dust so um, consider you know antimicrobial additive could be used in the furniture indoor or outside you know to prevent any growth of materials foggy and uh, self-cleaning itself so I would imagine that's a very good application for us to consider here. Okay, here just a quick summary of the applications. Furnitures, you know, hospital supplies, portable toilet, bins, playground equipment. Okay, thanks for staying with me for so long. Here come to the cost. Uh, I wish I could say, you know, this uh, antimicrobial agent or the antimicrobial product, it's the same price as currently you are paying. No, nope, unfortunately, you know, yes, it's an added value product. You know, our production cost has increased a bit. So in order to work the best uh, cost for your application, please ask our sales team, Paul, Ashley, 
and Mason. So um, they will be able to help you work out the best cost for your application. Thanks a lot. That will be the end of my presentation.